Hello, I'm IBX Toyka, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make pixel art in Minecraft Xbox 60, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and any other edition of Minecraft, because just building blocks works the same in all of them. Uh, so a lot of people have been noticing that in my creative videos world, a lot more pixel art has been popping up, whether it be the uh, Emerald Door, the Bricks, uh, or stuff like, you know, all the tools from my tool tutorial, or uh, the black one-legged Steve that I doubt anyone's noticed before. Uh, but people have been asking me about that and how to build it and stuff, because pixel art is a really fun project to embark on in Minecraft, whether it be creative or survival. So I figured I would teach you guys how to do uh, three different types of pixel art today. First of all, how to do these uh, 16 by 16 block representations. I really like them because uh, they're pretty simple to do and you can make any block. Uh, if you have a favorite block, for instance, you can make it. And uh, if, you, if they're you know, fairly far away, they look really, really good. And even up close, they don't look bad. They look pretty cool. And uh, so you can make your house inside one, for instance. Uh, then we're going to be showing you how to do the sprites in the game. So stuff like the shovels, stuff like the swords. Um, you know, for instance, we've got the hearts here too. Uh, a whole bunch of different sprites. Uh, because they're quite easy too. Uh, there's a golden apple over there too. And then finally, I'll be showing you how to make custom skins in Minecraft. This one's a little bit more complex and takes more, uh, you know, individual skill stuff. Uh, but it is, you know, a cookie cutter pattern that you just have to apply to your own skin. Uh, and yeah, this is how Black One Legged Steve was made. So yeah, let's start with our 16 by 16 blocks. Uh, these are ones a lot of people notice from my five building ideas video. I definitely recommend you check that out if you want building ideas besides pixel art, by the way. Um, but Basically, uh, I want to show people how you actually build this because people are like, oh yeah, the emeralds are cool. How do you do it? And uh, my explanation might not have been enough, so I'm going to do a full in-depth explanation. So, uh, basically, to do a one of these blocks, you just need to pick any block you want and place it down in the game because every single block in game, with the exception of very, very few, is made from like a 16 by 16 like cube type deal. So uh, every single side of this uh, cube is 16 by 16 pixels, uh, which is convenient because every one of those pixels has to be one full color. So you can notice here, uh, there's lots of grays. They're all you know, slightly different colours, but they're all fairly similar at the same time. Um, and then you also got some greens here, and then there's white in the little bit of each of the, uh, you know, green blobs. So, uh, for me, all I have to do was uh, pick a different colour for every one of the pixels. So, for all of these, uh, you know, grey pixels, I decided stone, because it includes all of those colours anyway, and it kind of just works. Uh, so I just used stone for all of those, because it, it fits the texture, it fits the thing. And then for the green, I decided to go with uh, em natural emerald blocks. Uh, I think you could have used green wool just as well, but I used emerald blocks. And then because I I didn't want to get the texture wrong because, uh, for instance, if I use white wool here instead of uh, never quartz, uh, as you can see, it just looks wrong. It looks off. Uh, at a distance, it might look okay, uh, but up close, the texture can be so wrong that it will seem clear that it's just this weird uh, mishmash of things. Uh, so yeah, you put uh, never quartz in there, and then it works just fine. So that's what I did there. I just have to say. Uh, individually go for each one of these pixels, place it here, and make the equivalent block. And that might sound fairly difficult, but it doesn't actually take too long. Let's show you another example of uh, why it's quite easy. Uh, just pick every single one of these uh, pixels for the 16 by 16 chest, and you'll just notice that there's just a big black outline, and then all of these blocks in the middle are basically orange. They're different shades of orange, but uh, orange basically covers it, and it doesn't look quite as nice at, at first. Uh, once you get the uh, white chest lock on there, and then you look at it from a distance, uh, it's actually a fairly impressive chest representation, or at least I think so. Uh, even if it does look a little more, more cartoony, then that's still that. Again, with the TNC, uh, it's fairly complex, but you can just uh, make it like it the way it is, and I, I kind of like it. So, uh, what I'm going to be showing you now, as an example, is I'm going to be teaching you how to build a coal ore block. Uh, again, you can do this for any one, but I'm showing you a coal ore specifically because it's it one, it's one that you can look at and be like, wow, that's going to take so long to build, but it's really one of the simplest blocks you can build. So yeah, let's show you right now. So. Let's start with uh, the basics. Uh, you need to work out what blocks you're going to be using. So look at all the blocks here. Work out how many blocks you need to use. So as you can see, most of this is stone colored. Uh, there are different sh shades in there. And you could probably use wool just as well. Like, uh, for instance, if you use grey wool and then a lighter grey wool, you could probably get this done just right. Uh, but what I'm thinking of doing instead is uh, just to use stone for all the outside. And then for all of the coal, just use black wool. Uh, some of the coal has different colors. And uh, I might end up using grey wool there too. But for now, black wool seems pretty solid like a pretty solid guess so we're going to need two blocks so we'll get the stone out and then we'll get our black wall out then, uh, because as I said, all blocks are 16 by 16 blocks, uh, you need to if you're in survival by the way, you need to of course um, actually go through and um collect all the blocks for this, unless you just have infinite blocks laying around. But yeah, you need to get the blocks for this, and then you need to make a 16 by 16 kind of cube base. So, look at the outside blocks on all of this. Uh, for instance, you can see here, it's all stone. Uh, but look at the outside blocks on all of them, and then make this kind of construction frame. Uh, this will make your job a lot easier, because you won't accidentally go over something, and you can just kind of work in from the corner. So, uh, let's just show you. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, yeah, you just have to do a 16 by 16 outline. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, once you've done a couple of slides, you can just kind of link up the rest. And it's quite simple. So uh, I'll show you in a second once it's all done. And uh, then we can move on. So... As you can see, this is just the base done right here. And uh, now we've got our very first layer done off the cube. You don't have to do the inside, by the way. You can if you want an entirely full cube, but because there's no way of knowing what these blocks look like on the inside, I think it's a safer bet just to not do that. So uh, now what you want to do is, uh, after you've got this base layer done, is you want to go up 16 blocks. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16. And after your first one, it's going to look like it's, you know, not in line, but in reality, once you've done the entire thing, uh, you'll see that your cubes is starting to, you know, come into its own. So, we'll do this now. Uh, you have to do this for all the sides. I'm not going to right now, because, of course, it's going to take some time. And I want to focus on actually doing, uh, helping you with some valuable skills. So, make, like, a full, uh, you know, cube frame, so you've got all of the sides done, and then you can start working in from there. So, I, I prefer working on the simplest stuff first. Uh, so if you look, by the way, all the sides are exactly the same. I don't blocks. Uh, but if you look at the bottom here, there's an entire row of just stone. So, uh, again, discerning each individual pixel is difficult. But if you look, it's an entire row of stone there. Uh, so that means after this uh, bottom row right here, we can just move on with another row of stone. And uh, that's going to be really simple to do. It's going to help us out. And now we're to... Uh, you know, 16's done. Uh, I recommend just doing one side first, then repeating it on all the other ones. But if you want, you can then follow this round on all the sides. So you can be like, okay, let's do a second row here. Um, and then, yeah, you need to do that for all the sides now. And, uh, yeah, let's actually just quickly do a little bit more of the frame just so you can... Because we're going to be working on this side. We might as well get all of this filled in. Um, but, yeah, so this is... Uh, the first thing you want to do, you want to look for easy bits to fill in because they're going to be these bits. Uh, the next row will fit. As you can see, we've got two bits of stone on the left. Then there's two bits of black wool. And then there's maybe one, two, three, four, five. Is that five? Let me just quickly make sure. Uh, so we've got one, two, three. Okay, it's four bits of stone and then two bits of uh, black wool. And then the rest is stone. So uh, two bits of stone, two bits of black wool. Four bits of stone, two bits of black wool, and then the rest is stone. So, uh, then you just build this on here like this. Two bits of stone, two bits of black wool, four bits of stone, two bits of black wool, and then all stone to the end. And then you just have to do this for each individual row. It might seem like it's a fairly complex task, and honestly, it takes a little bit longer than uh, you probably care to admit. Uh, but by the end of it, you end up with a fully functional cobblox. blocks. Let's uh, start from the right this time. Uh, you go one stone, and then, what is that, like six bits of uh, black wool, and then all stone again. So... One stone, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then all the way across. And as you can see, um, this very gradually starts to build you a coal looking block. Uh, let's actually do the next row first, uh, just so I can actually show you that. So next up, it's two bits from the left, and then two bits of black wool, and then entirely free again. So one, two, is it just two bits? Yeah, what's two bits? Uh, and then always be sure to check if you're uh, ever in doubt. And then you do this. And as you can see, this just slowly builds into a coal block. I'll quickly fast forward the rest so you can see uh, that me just looking at the block will eventually create a full on, full on functioning coal block. And this can be done for any block. So let's just uh, quickly do this now. Okay, so as you can see, now we have a completed coal block, and even though that was a pretty basic, uh, even though it was like a four or five minute process, as you can see, we have a full-on coal block here that looks pretty realistic, and if you go the further back you look, the more realistic it gets. You're like, wow, that could be a genuine coal ore. Uh, so yeah, as, that's a coal ore built from two very basic blocks. Uh, of course, we have to do the same for each of these sides, and that's going to take another three to five minutes for each side, so we're talking like a 15 minute project in creative, more like an hour plus in survival. Uh, but yeah, you, as you can see, it's easily done. Uh, it gets easier with each side you do because you remember the patterns and uh, yeah, we won't bother finishing the rest of this right now But we can come back to that later and hopefully you get the point on uh, how you actually build all of the sides so uh, Just oh as a pro tip uh, on the tip uh, on the top it actually is a repeat So it looks slightly weird, but it's just the same pattern just uh, a fifth time uh, So yeah, finally, let's move on to the next thing we're gonna be talking about today and that is how to make a sprite so Basically, um, sprites are the 2D objects in the game, so these are 3D objects because they're bro blocks, you can build on them uh, and whatnot, but sprites are just 2D objects that don't go in the world, they just, you can see them in places, uh, for, you know, for instance, you've got the sword, you've got the shovel, uh, you've got all of these things, these are all sprites technically because they're the 2D versions that you can just see, uh, and today we're going to be focusing on uh, 
let's say the Iron Helmet, for instance. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, so yeah, you pick a uh, sprite of your choice. You can use boots. You can use any of these sprites you want, just something that looks pretty. Uh, I think diamond's actually a good choice too. But all you have to do is just pick a uh, sprite, and then you have to try and work out uh, how to, uh, the blocks you need for this again. So uh, as you can see, this is looking like it's built from grey, black, and maybe some white wool. So uh, what we'll do is we'll get those types of wool out. So we've already got black wool out. We'll get some uh, dark gray wool out because that's going to be necessary. Um, and then we'll also get some light gray that's looking necessary. And then maybe even some white wool. We might need that later. We'll check. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, we've got the item here. I think an item frame is actually going to help out a lot with this one. So we'll quickly just grab one of those from the decorations. Uh, just place that down now, and uh, let's just place a item frame on the wall here and put our helmet in there. So, as you can see, now we've got a proper view of the item, and we just have to basically recreate this. It's a similar process, but it's a lot easier because it's not 16 by 16. This is only, I think, 8 by 8. So, uh, as you can see, it's got the slight outline, which is just going to be these blocks. So, let's build it right here. So, it's two blocks here, and then it goes up for one, two, three, four. Four blocks, I think. Yeah, four blocks up. Uh, so it goes like this. One, two, three, four. And then there's another two on the floor like this. And then after that, uh, both of these go up a little bit like that. And uh, this might not make any sense to you. But you just basically have to recreate the entire thing on the wall in the game. So uh, now we work out... I think this is grey. What I'm pointing out right now is a grey wall. So we'll go up one, two, three blocks with this. And we'll put that in uh, just here. So one, two, three. Uh, and then, yeah, that's that's looking good so far. We'll do the same on the other side now, and then we'll also uh, quickly just outline it properly. So we've gone up three blocks, and then we'll do the same over here. So one, two, three. Uh, pick the right wall, this one, one, two, three. And then it really is just as simple as uh, picking the right wall for each, of uh, the right, you know, color for each one of these things. Uh, so after the one, two, three, we go to the right and to the left, respectively. And then in the middle of that, we just have some black wool like this. And then we fill all of this in with black wool, and that's going to be that massive black area filled. And uh, I hope you're getting the basic gist of this. You can do this with any block, really. You just have to work out what all the colors are. Uh, some blocks are really difficult to work out the colors for because they don't have Minecraft representations. Uh, that's why I'm doing what looks like a pretty easy one. And then it looks like we're going to have like three bits of dark or light gray wool here, I think. Let's just use white wool because we've already used uh, light grey. Uh, and a little triangle shape up there for some reason. So, um, wait, let me just quickly make sure we get this right. Okay, it's a triangle shape just to the right of this thing. So, one, two, three. And then we're also just going to go like this all the way around it. Uh, just to get the basic chest. And as you can see, in that little time, we almost have a fully correct helmet. So, uh, then we'll build this up all the way to the end of the start of the triangle uh it's it's difficult to do this so uh, you just have to work out mental ref uh, frames of reference then we go all the way across here we do the same on this side i guess um and then before you know as you can see we've got ourselves an iron helmet let me just quickly make sure this is correct and yeah, as you can see, that's one sprite built in the last four minutes, and that was while well talking about it. Uh, of course, you can do more work. This, to some people, won't look like an iron helmet, but again, the back you get, uh, the more realistic it looks. And it's hidden behind, like, half a leg right now, which I don't know why this is here. Um, actually, we could probably use this, because I think this is my skin. So yeah, that's how you do sprites. You just make a, you get a representation of the sprite in game using an item frame, and then you work out which block each individual thing is. It's fairly simple, and uh, it's a common pattern across the... Uh, pixel art stuff I'm going to show you today because it's something everyone can do it's something that doesn't take a whole bunch of effort it's just working out what color things are which is uh, really nice because a lot of people don't want to do the complex stuff uh, also it looks like that's not that's like a really deep black in between the helmets I might need to make that like brown wool or something an entirely different color I'm not even sure for the record you could actually do an item frame pixel art and then have like a pixel art inside the pixel art of the item frame That'd be really crazy and meta if you wanted to do that. But you, you could. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that one's that. Next, let's uh, talk about how you do skin uh, pixel art. Because uh, this is one I had uh, some special requests for. And it's one I kind of understand because I see people doing it all the time. And people are like, wow, I could never do that. Uh, but pixel arts, uh, skin pixel arts are actually quite easy to do because they actually work in pixels. Like everything else I've been showing you. Uh, so let's teach you how they work. So... As you can see, uh, this is one-legged Steve. It's easy to show one leg because it makes more sense, but of course there would be a second leg here if it was a real skin. Uh, so first of all, you need to work on the leg. So um, basically the body split into five separate measurements. You've got the leg, which is 14, uh, 14 tall by four wide by four 
deep, I guess. Uh, you've got the torso, which is uh, 8 wide by 4 deep by like 10 wide, uh, and it goes up to here. And then you've got the arms, which are a whole 12, uh, you know, I guess, tall. Uh, they're 4 blocks wide and they're 4 blocks deep. And then finally you've got the head, which is 8 blocks wide, 8 blocks deep, and 8 blocks... It's tall. It's, it's, it's a perfect cube that goes on top of it. And that might not make any sense to you, but uh, maybe the you know, instructions on screen would. But basically what you have to do now is to make your skin with this. You just look at it and you work out which each individual pixel should be. So uh, I'll show you my skin, for instance, even though it's a fairly complex one. Uh, so yeah, that's what I was working on just here. So the, the legs are 14 by 4 by 4. So we work out the... Oh wow, that zombie behind me is floating. What just... Did, the, did everyone just see that, right? Did that just happen? For real? Okay, whatever. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Uh, so yeah, we just work out that uh, our suit we can put out up next to us is probably this color, with uh, this color being the kind of darker lines on it. So then what we just do is uh, we build around this. So uh, let's work out where the feet go. Let's look behind me now. So it's one deep on the back. Uh, like okay, there we go. So we just do this, and then we repeat this here. And now we've got the foot, and then we just have to do this all the way around with uh, the lighter grey wool. And um, then we just need to go up 14 blocks. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. The 14 block has to be one of these, of course. Uh, and then because, of course, as you can see, there's a little grey line going up to there. You just uh, do this up there. And uh, then we just fill in the rest. Uh, I'm, I only have to fill in the rest because it's doing the thing. But you get the basic idea. This is a leg now. Uh, we'll just pretend that the rest is... Actually, let's quickly check. Yeah, the line goes all the way around. So we do this all the way to here. And uh, then the rest we can fill in in our own time. It's not going to be anything you're going to learn from. But you get the basic idea. You just kind of fill this in. And then you've got yourself a leg. So now you've got the leg of your skin. Again, just use relevant blocks, whatever it is. Uh, by itself, this is just a really weird statue that people are going to be confused when they look at. But now what you have to do is you're going to have to combine this with the torso. So the torso, as I said, I think it was 10 blocks tall. It might be 12. Uh, let's just quickly confirm. Yeah, it's 10 blocks tall. So uh, we work out our torso. Uh, it's, so it's this grey jacket thing. Uh, so the sides are the same kind of grey as we used before. So our right leg is, I guess, this is our left leg. Let's make this our right leg. So uh, this is our right leg now. So we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we go up ten blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we do the same over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then uh, if you look at our skin, it gets really complex. It requires like this black and green tie pattern. So we'll quickly do that now. Uh, should we use emerald blocks for that? I think I think emerald blocks are the best fit. So what we do now is we go black, green, black, black, green. And uh, I'm sure you get the basic idea of what's going on here. And then we've got... Okay, wait. And then we have to just make that go into a tie thing. Uh, so then we go one, two, three, four. Five, six. Is that enough blocks? No, it goes down a half another couple. Uh, and then like so. And then we have to do the outside too. Again, then the tie, uh, the black bit goes down a couple blocks like this. And as you can see, that's our tie from our cat. So now we've got a leg and almost a torso. It's starting to shape up as a skin. And all we're going to do now is we're going to fill this in and then get back to in a second. Because, of course, this is going to be a lot of filling in before it even makes sense. So be right back for a second. Okay, so I'm back, and I actually realized I made a slight error with the uh, counting blocks. Uh, it's actually 12 blocks tied for the torso, but since it's two blocks difference, uh, we can actually just go with it, and it will look just as uh, sane as most of them, because uh, this looks perfectly fine, right? Uh, this is the same error. Like, I, d I don't know why I just missed out two blocks, but you get the point. Uh, you go 12 blocks up, and then you do the legs, and then... Uh this is probably starting to look slightly like a real skin to you. Like, oh, I'm seeing how this could go somewhere. Uh, now let's do the arms. So the arms are 12 by 4 by 4. So uh, let's look at those. Uh, it looks like it's just going to be mostly grey with the same kind of pattern on the arms. Uh, so what we just have to do is we get the darker grey out. The one we used. But yeah, that one. Uh, and then we just go 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, actually, we one, two, three, because we're missing that out. And then for this, we make the top of this uh, just all grey for some reason, because that's uh, just how the coat is. And then we go down how many blocks on it? Uh, pretty much all of them, actually. And then till we get to the next to the bottom one down, so till we get to the ninth block. So this goes seven blocks down. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's a black block. Oh, wait, no, this should go six blocks then. And then there's a black block blocks there sorry uh, and then we go all this all the way around it 
until finally we get to the bottom of this, which is where we have a second line of grey. Yep. Oh no, this is this is a line of black even. Uh, so then we have a line of black down here. And then we got to have the arm poking out there. Uh, our arms are going to be slightly longer than the rest of our body because we made a slight mistake. But, uh, well, not longer than the rest of our body. But they're going to be long proportionally to our chest because we made a small mistake. But yeah, the basic idea is there. Um, as you can see, slowly getting to the Minecraft skin idea. So, uh, quickly check the arms again. Uh, always just uh, triple check the arms because if you make a mistake, it's uh, pretty you know costly to rub out. And it's uh, really simple just to check every time you make a big build. And as you can see, we've got the arm done and it looks pretty natural. Um, I guess the top of it not being filled in probably doesn't help that. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty natural. We've got the arm filled in, and it's good. So next, we just need to do the head. Uh, if you're wondering, we didn't fill this in because the head's going in, although I think we have to put a few blocks in anyway. Uh, so now let's focus on the head. Uh, the head's going to be the most complex part because it uses lots of blocks that I'm not sure how to uh, make these, but, you know, we're going to try. So I think sandstone is going to be a good bet here. Let's get some sandstone out. Uh, we're going to need those uh, emerald blocks we just had. And yeah, we're going to just try and make this happen. So we go four blocks up. Uh, okay, so first of all, we do the outline. Uh, we've got to find the middle of this thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I guess it's got to go in the middle of... Uh, I guess some of these locks are poking. Yeah, I think I did this wrong. Yeah, I did the arm slightly too thin. But yeah, I, I, lots and lots of mistakes, but I'm proving my same point anyway. Uh, so starting from where the torso, uh, the top of the torso, as you can see just here, uh, what you just have to do is you have to start the head there and then just make it poke out a little bit. So it pokes out two blocks on each side. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, seven. Oh, you get the point. Uh, we just go eight by eight by eight. And then once we've done that, we should hopefully... Oh, wait, did I get that right? No, over here. And then uh, as you can see... This is where, where the head starts to happen. And it's starting to look more realistic, right? Uh, I realise we didn't actually do the little hands poking out of the arms. It's because it's a really difficult block to do. But yeah, so uh, with the head, we go... Oh, it actually has some stuff poking out too. So this can be more difficult. Uh, but then we go up four blocks. So two, three, four. We make this go all the way across. And then we got to put the eyes on, I think, next. Yeah, so the eyes are so... Have a fifth block there and there, and then have emerald block followed by uh, white block. We need to get one of those out. I guess we'll use a block of quartz because we're already using emerald. Uh, it just looks like it makes sense, right? As you can see, without any other blocks, this does look just like an insane guy. But you can you can get the skin aspect of this going, right? I hope. Uh, just put blocks here and make that look more natural. And then uh, in between them... Oh, my control just died. Probably need to turn it back on. One sec. There we go. Uh, and then in between the eyes... I think I made a mistake here because we've got seven blocks. So many mistakes uh, that I was apparently just going with. But you get the basic idea. The head is 8x8x8. Eight by eight by eight, and <laughs> uh, if, if I hadn't ch chosen such a hard skin to do, I'm going to go back and actually fix all the mis these mistakes. Uh, then this would be just fine. So yeah, I'll be right back a second. I've made so many mistakes in a row. I'm just going to quickly go fix them all. And I'll be back for you in a second. As you can see, making mistakes is perfectly normal part of Pixel Art. Okay, so we're back now, and even though our skin looks a little bit like a crazy dude, more than the cat or cheetah or whatever it is, uh, I don't actually know what my skin is. Well, I'll, I'll find out, actually. Uh, the party ocelot, that's what it is, of course. Um, but yeah, so you can actually look at the skin here if you want a full 360 degree view, by the way, just as a pro tip. Um, but yeah, so back to what I was actually showing you. As you can see, we fixed the head. I accidentally, you know, didn't follow my own directions. The head is 8 by 8 by 8 the body is 12 by 4 by 8 yeah, you got that right. And the arms are 12 by 4 by 4. And then the legs are 14 by 4 by 4. That's all the measurements. Hopefully they'll help you. But yeah, so let's uh, actually focus on the um, the face now. Because uh, as you can see, it just looks like a weird kind of broken dude. Where it's meant to look like a, a smart little, you know, soup cheetah. Uh, ocelot, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying cheetah. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use a second sandstone block. Because hopefully that's going to help things. And we're going to try and make what looks like a good kind of... Because uh, if you notice on top of my face, there's like a sticky out bit. We're going to try and make that look good in some way. So, one, two, three, four. I guess we're just going to build outwards from this. Um, and then like so. Hopefully that just magically makes everything. And then there's also a little nose we have to throw on there. So let's just do that now right there. As you can see, we're getting somewhere. We're still... Yeah, it's still looking a little bit crazy, but we're getting somewhere. Uh, then it looks like if we throw some orange wool in there, because it... Just, do we have... Okay, we've just got one orange wool. If we throw that in there, then... For the eyebrows, perhaps. Perhaps it'll make that more logical. Or maybe it'll break everything and make him look even... Actually, yeah. The the eyebrows definitely help with the 
not insane look. And then maybe if I just add this party thing on top, I could totally do that. And then maybe that would help too. I don't know, but uh, so far we're not doing too bad. We've got a pretty good looking skin. Um, of course, uh, maybe I just have to make better decisions on which blocks to use. And maybe uh, if I just throw more block blocks in there, it'll work better. But for now, this is what we've got. We've got a party ocelot in a suit that looks... Honestly, honestly pretty good considering how rushed it was and how this is just my first attempt at it. Uh, as you can see, uh, if I just threw a second arm on here, you'd probably get the point. Uh, this is my attempt at an ocelot skin, I hope, or party ocelot skin. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you learned something about pixel art in this tutorial, whether it be making skins, whether it be making uh, sprites like the uh, you know the helmet, or whether it be making blocks like the uh, the coal block or any of the blocks I've made. Uh, hopefully, uh, this gives you a project to work on. I love when people have projects. That's why I do these video uh, builds because uh, being more interested in Minecraft is a good thing. So, if you like the video, please do like it. If you made it this far on the video, please I don't know, add it as a favor or something. Uh, sharing it is very appreciated. If you have friends that don't know how to pixel art and you're like, please learn, show them this video. It will definitely help them, or at least I think it will help. Them them. Um, other than that, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, do some other nice things. If you want a free trial of Amazon Prime, I've got one of those in the description. Um, and goodbye.